In this video, we will discuss the problem Kill Captain America. The problem says that Captain America is hiding from Thanos in a maze which is full of rooms. So there is a maze which is full of rooms and the maze is designed in such a way that uh, the room uh, within it leads to another room via the gate, right? So what happens is basically if let's suppose there is a room number one and there is a room number two. So there is a gate inside room number one that leads to the gate number uh, like that leads to the room number two, right? So there is a gate in room number one that leads to gate two. And so suppose that there is a gate in room two that leads to room number three, right? And now can you move back, right? The pro like you must be thinking, can you move back from this uh, room number two to room number one? No, you cannot because the problem says that uh, you uh, the movement from one room that is suppose the room is R1 to another room R2 is unidirectional, right? So if you move from room one to room two, then you cannot move back from room two ro to room one directly. There should be a path, right? It should be explicitly mentioned. It should directly be mentioned that you can move from room number two to room number one, okay? Otherwise you cannot move. And the problem says that Captain America is hiding in only those rooms which are accessible directly through e every other room in the maze, right? So Captain America will be hiding in only those rooms that are directly accessible to him right and since you are on the side of Thanos so you want to kill Captain America right so basically the task is to kill Captain America and what you need to do in this particular function is you will be given a function that is Captain America and what you have to do is that this function takes the integer n and m and a 2d array as uh, like that represents the that represents the graph right the number of edges all these things the number of nodes and the number of edges is represented and what you need to do is you need to return the total number of rooms right so that is what you have to return and you have to notice that you are on thanos side right so how will you do this particular question so let's say if a graph of this kind is given where what i have is i have one i have two let's say i have three let's say i have four let's say i have five let's say i have six right let's say i have seven right suppose this kind of a graph is there uh, let's say one is connected to two two is connected to three let's say three is connected to four notice that this is a direct uh, directed graph right because uh, uh, like it has been mentioned right from you can move from u to v but you cannot move from v to u right so that's why it's a directed graph now what you can observe is like uh, let's say this is connected to this and let's say this is connected here this is connected here this is connected here right suppose that this is uh, the graph that i have so you can see that the, how many connected com like if you see this particular graph so you can see that uh, there's something that is uh, known as connected components right there's something that is known as strongly connected components right you can see this that uh, strongly connected components are there right in this particular graph there are two strongly connected components this is one strongly connected component and the second strongly connected component is this one right and what is the special thing about a strongly connected component in a strongly connected component if you let's say you start from this one so you can reach to this two three four and one right so this is the speciality about the strongly connected component so since this is a directed graph so you will also have you will also be having the strongly connected components now why is the strongly connected component important in this particular question so first of all how do you find the strongly connected components in this particular gra uh, graph that's been given to you right so you'll be given this graph and you have to find the strongly connected connected components so either you can use the coser aju algorithm right so there are two algorithms with you which you can use uh, to find the strongly connected components either you can use the coser aju algorithm right or you can use the targens algorithm right that depends on you so first of all you will apply the algorithm to find the strongly connected components let's say you have found the strongly connected components right so there is one more thing that's important that is nothing but the in degree and out degree right so let's suppose that uh, let's suppose that this node is there right let's suppose that i'm one two and three so if i talk about this node if i talk about this node three so the in degree right the in degree of this node three is nothing but what it's two because basically how many edges are coming towards this node three since it is since the edges are directed how many nodes are uh, how many edges are coming towards this node three so total two edges are coming one is coming from one another one is coming from two so in degree will be two now what is the out degree as you can see that if in degree is the number of vertices that are coming towards the current node so the out degree for the current node or for a particular node given node will be nothing but the number of uh, number of edges that are going from this particular node so you can see that from three there is no no, no uh, edge going from going to any other node so that's why the out degree for this three will be zero right this is also pretty much important in this problem right let's say that what you have is you have some connected components right so i'll just make some parts of the components let's say if you have something like this right and this kind of a scenario is there right let's say right uh let's connect this first of all so i'm connecting it and this is the way let's say i connect it like this and 
I do not use this let's say right and this is the part and in the second part what I do is let's say I connect it like this right uh, let's say what happens is for this one I have this this reaching here this reaching here this reaching here this reaching here right so you can see that this particular node right notice notice this yellow node will have the out degree as zero right this node has the out degree as zero and this node also has the out degree as zero right let's suppose this is coming here so this node has the out degree as zero so there in this particular strongly connected component graph you can see that there are total two nodes that are having the out degree as zero right and this is pretty much important in this particular problem because let's say the captain america is hiding right let's say the captain america is hiding so if you want to kill the captain america right so you will be able to kill it only when there is one uh like only they, when there is when will you able to kill it so you will be able to kill it when there is only one node right if there are multiple nodes right if there are multiple nodes with the out degree as zero then in that case you might be in a little bit of trouble right but what happens when you just have one uh, node that has the out degree as zero so in that case what will happen uh, so as i said like let's suppose that uh, there is a graph there is a graph and overall in that graph let's suppose what happens is let's suppose it has a lot of connections but i'm telling you about a segment let's suppose that this is this is the point right Let, let's suppose the graph is pretty huge like it it is uh, from connecting from here here right and let's suppose this is this is the part right so you can see that here if there's just one if there's just one node with the out degree as zero right if there's just one node with the out degree as zero in that case you can uh, you can directly kill it right and what will be the what will be the number of nooms that you will visit the number of rooms will be nothing but uh, for that particular uh, for this particular node that is having the out degree as zero the number of nodes will be nothing but the size of this connected component right size of the connected component now if it happens if it happens that the number of nodes with the out degree as uh, zero is greater is greater than one if there are two or more nodes that are having the out degree as zero in that case you will print the answer as zero right because that will not be possible but if that is not the case if there is just one node in that case you will print the maximum size that is there right so that is what you will do in this particular problem let's try and see the implementation of this code so basically as i said you will be first of all finding the strongly connected components so you'll be given this vector v you will have the out degree initialized as zero maximum size will be initialized to int min right because you have to return the maximum size in the end and you'll have the adjacency, adjacency list visited stack uh, you'll have these all these things are important for um, uh, first of all finding the strongly connected components then you will make the graph from the adjacency list right so what you will be doing is you'll uh, have this function in which you will be storing uh, nothing but the uh, the like you will be storing like this right so, since you are implementing the algorithm for finding the strongly connected component so you'll build the graph like this u to v and v to u and like this right and then what you will do is you will also be implementing this particular function right you will be implementing the function that is topological sorting right you topo dfs in this particular function you'll mark the visited as uh, true right and then uh, if the visit if the node is not visited if the ith node is not visited then you'll call this topo dfs function right and you'll one by one keep on storing the graph this is nothing but the implementation of the algorithm for finding the strongly connected components right after this part is done so what you will do is you'll iterate through this particular stack and you will have an unordered set right and if a particular node is not visited then you'll call the dfs one by one right and you'll keep on checking so you will keep on checking you will keep on counting the uh, like you will keep on checking that which node has the out degree as zero if a particular node has out degree zero so you directly count it right and you will store the maximum size right you'll store the size of that particular component and then in the end you check if the number of uh, nodes that are having the out degree as zero is just one in that case you return nothing but uh, maximum size otherwise you return zero if there are more than one node if there's one more than one node which is having the out degree as zero in that case you will return a zero right as i mentioned let's try and compile this code and see if it works or not so you can see that it was able to pass all the test cases right so this is how you implement this particular problem thanks a lot for watching this video